Right now, I wanna go over the paint that I used for these laminate cabinets. These are the three different types of paints that I used on my kitchen cabinets and then a set of bathroom cabinets. So basically I did three different sets of laminate cabinets and I used a different type of paint on each one. So this one here was the first one I used on the kitchen cabinets that you see here. This is Olympic One Paint Plus Primer. This is 100% acrylic. This is the Valspar cabinet and furniture paint that I used on the bathroom, one of the bathrooms. This is an oil enriched enamel. And then this last one here I used on another bathroom. This is a acrylic paint as well. And they each, I believe, have their own benefits and they kind of each turned out a little bit different. However, I am impressed and I like how each one of them ultimately turned out. So first, let's talk a little bit about this paint right here. So the 100% acrylic Olympic One Paint Plus Primer that I used here in the kitchen. I did this three years ago now, and overall it's held up very well. The paint went on easy. I used three coats total, and it dried nicely, and they've held up well, despite the fact that the kitchen is by far the most trafficked area of our home. I will say that it has chipped off in a little bit of places. There are some spots where the paint is coming off, especially in the spots where we hit things in it. So if we look on the inside of the cabinet door here, there's some spots that are coming off because of the pots and pans, a little bit around the handles and where they're getting dinged and bumped into frequently. However, I will say overall, I'm very impressed with this paint. It's again, 100% acrylic, Olympic One Paint Plus Primer, it went on well, it's held up pretty good over time, and for the amount that it cost, $50, uh, it's definitely by far a good investment and worth trying. $50 compared to a $5,000 renovation, you know, I understood going in that I'll probably have to do some touch-up over, over time, over the years, so to do a little bit of touch-up, it's fine, it's acceptable for me as a trade-off. Am I gonna spend $5,000 on the renovation or will I paint the cabinets, make them look nice, enjoy them, and have to do a little bit of maintenance over time? And of course, there is no guarantee that if you buy fresh new cabinets, that you're not gonna ding those up as well. So that's kind of the trade-off there. So now this is the Valspar cabinet and furniture. So this is the oil enriched enamel. This is the one I did on the bathroom downstairs here. It was the smallest cabinet that I used the paint on. I really liked how this went on. It went on very nice. It was easy. Again, three coats for that. Of course, it was the smallest project that I had. So that might be kind of Con, uh, something that I'm considering there because it was so small and easy. I did it in just an afternoon and it went on really quick. Overall, this has held up very well. Again, these cabinets are used every day. This is really my wife's bathroom where she kind of puts on her makeup and so she's opening the cabinets up. And of course, this is the living area. So our, our daughter, our baby, our toddler now, uh, opens up those cabinet doors kind of frequently and is kind of rough on them when she shuts them. She's uh, slammed them a few times. At the moment, there's no marks, no scuffs, no chips, and so this has held up very well. I liked how it dried. It feels very hard and durable, and it is easy to clean if there's any spots on there. So that's the Valspar Oil Enriched Enamel. So now let's go on to this last one here. This is Insulex Cabinet Coat. Again, it is acrylic. It says it's urethane acrylic, and this was the last one that I used. So I've only had this one on for about a month. So I haven't really had time to test it. This one I think went on the best as far as applying the easiest. It really did take three coats and it was very, um, it had a nice application. It went on, it felt like it stuck on the cabinets very well and very easily. Um, but you know, as far as holding up over time, I can't really speak to that yet. I haven't had it long enough to determine whether or not it's held up or how it's going to hold up over time. Um, so that is kind of general overall, the paints that I have used and had success with painting these laminate kitchen cabinets. So if you're looking for paint, this is 100% acrylic, oil enriched enamel, and again, this is urethane acrylic paint here. 
This one was the easiest to get because I just ordered it online. These two, I went to the local hardware store and picked these up. Valspar, I believe, is a Lowe's brand, so I got that at Lowe's, and then the Olympic one I got at Lowe's as well. So when you go to the store, if you're going to the hardware store, you can just look for a paint plus primer. And then if there's anybody there, you can say, hey, do you have any cabinet or furniture paint that I could use that doesn't require any primer or sanding? So overall, I like how these have turned out. There is some things to note. My cabinet doors and the, the covers here were in decent condition, okay? They're a little bit dirty. They were a little bit dirty when I painted them, but there weren't any chips, dings, or major holes or repairs that I needed to make. So as far as that goes, I didn't have to worry about that. So if you do have cabinets where the, the laminate is peeling off a little bit, there might be something else that you need to consider there. However, if you just have these, uh, this house was built in 1985, and I think these laminate cabinets were super popular. Uh, in the comments, people have said, hey, I've got the same exact cabinets. So uh, with these style of cabinets, the laminate, these paints went on very well, very easily, and over time they have held up, and I really like that I did this project, and I would do it again if I had to. So there you go. Again, my name is Drew. If you like DIY, kind of doing stuff at home from hobbies to brewing beer and all that type of stuff, you can uh, subscribe or just check back in and see if you, if you see some other videos that you like. Otherwise, good luck painting your cabinets. I'll see you around.